I'm Dominic Pat. I'm Anne Marie Medowick. Welcome to Twenty One C. Look, dating can be pretty rough. There's the anxiety, the doubts, the possible rejection, and trying to figure out who's going to pay. And they're figuring out who's your type. Later, we'll be talking to teens who've decided that dating and religion go hand in hand. But before that, we're going to meet some people who, when it comes to dating, have a whole different set of challenges. When you see someone, they, the first thing you see is their face or their body. I did a lot of jerks because they were, were good looking. I was all about the whole image thing. I was all about the looks. That changed one night about three years ago on a stretch of highway west of Toronto. Sherry Popes was riding in a car that lost control and rolled into a ditch. She was thrown out the rear window and is now paralyzed from the chest down. The first thing I said, my mom said, when I woke up in the hospital was that I was like, oh, no boy would ever like me. How am I ever going to get a boyfriend? Why would someone like, I'm going to be in a wheelchair and it's so disgusting. I went from a carefree 18-year-old who, like I said, liked to party, to someone who's learning how to live with a new body, I guess you could say. Some people, you know, I felt were just sort of being nice to me because they felt sorry for me. I had a lot of short-term relationships for the first year and a half after I was hurt. And um, I think that a lot of it had to do with people, they started to get too close and they were sort of weirded out with a lot of, of this whole wheelchair situation. I was just, went back to my same old crazy party girl life. It was just more I wanted to prove to people that, you know, I'm the same person I used to be and I can still do this. I can still get these good looking guys. And after I realized that I had a lot to offer as well, that that made me realize that I, I really wanted someone that could take advantage of and help me become the person that I wanted to become. And that person is Brandon Roberts. When he met Sherry about a year and a half after her accident, he didn't expect what was about to happen. If you have told me the, an hour before I went out or five minutes before I met her that, uh, hey, you're going to uh, meet someone tonight, uh, not only is she going to be in a wheelchair, but you guys are going to be engaged and married within a year and a half, I would tell them they're smoking something pretty, pretty cheap. No, I never pictured that, but you can't control who or, or how you fall in love. I never thought about the stairs, I never thought about the hills, uh, the size of the washroom, the size of tables. If it's not accessible, I make it accessible. Graceful, as always. It was just amazing the way he accepted everything so, so quickly. The things I miss, the things that I can't do, uh, they don't compare to the things that I can do with it. Sherry and Brandon don't think twice about how they look as a couple, but not everyone thinks the same way. But I don't know if they're staring because uh, I'm an Abe and she's in a wheelchair or if they're just staring because she's a, she's a good-looking girl. I, I had someone at work once tell me that uh, when he found out I was going to marry someone in a wheelchair, he told me I was going to go to heaven. So I guess that's your ticket to heaven. But if you want to go out and you want to meet people and things like that, then don't let anything hold you back, you know? Regardless, you're going to face the this, this stupid questions. There's no point in sitting at home and saying, oh, if only, if only. You just have to to go on and you'll find someone. But it's easy to say you should have this really positive attitude and it is definitely what works but uh, or can work but uh, it doesn't mean everybody can do that and it doesn't mean it'll always work. There will still be people out there who will reject this strong, confident, together person just because they have a disability. So it's very difficult, I think, for these kids to sometimes picture themselves uh, in relationships as desirable people. Sometimes 